Yeah, that's great. Fuck it. I don't care. Obviously, I don't care. 13 seconds? I've already wasted that much of your life. Hey, hey, Grubgun here. I'm back. Um, welcome to all the new subscribers. <laughs> this is the kind of shit that I usually do. Uh, as the people who I've blackmailed and I forced to watch will attest to. Um, it's, you know, that's what happens when you leave your webcam hooked up to your computer and you have a team of uh, chimpanzee hackers that can get in and take pictures of you while you're, you know, you got your bird out or whatever. I threaten to post it online, force you to watch and comment. That's how it works. So keep your bird in your fucking robe, or you could be the next victim. Uh, so this is just going to be, oh no, it's not just going to be a, a, a pickup video. Here, look, I'll Chad Bailey it. Let's... Hey everyone, uh, Chad Bailey here uh, with, with my newest pickup video. You're a massive dink. <laughs> it's, you know, because this much, everyone wants to see fucking, you know, 90% of the screen blank. So let's just have, you know, basically, I don't, don't even show my chin. Fuck it. Or chins, as it were. But still, it's basically from, it's like I'm in the tub, you know, and I've got the water up to here. Hey everyone. Chad Bailey here, with my net newest pickup video. Fuck off. It's all about fucking head, am I right? What does everyone want? What does everyone need? That's right. A little bit of fucking Al Snow there for you. I'm back, everyone. Wait, have I, am I gone blurry now? Of course, it's hard to tell in this kind of light. Fucking there hell. There you go. Was that right enough? <laughs> yeah. Fuck off, dude! I'm too, too busy worrying about how you know. How, how can I shoot this yeah, to make to make it look better? It's impossible. I'd have to get a stand in. I'm back with a with a little with some stuff I bought. Fuck off, dude! And it's and it, this is the thing. It's quality shit, ninety percent of it, and it's stuff I'm gonna be playing for the most part. You know, I can't I can't promise anything. You know. I got, I got, I don't have a lot of time on my hands, and you know, I got a lot of things to, <laughs> I have a lot of things to do, and a lot of like, my schedule's pretty full. Let's just put it that way, you know, with my charity works, and my, uh, you know, my uh, volunteer stuff that I do, and the, um, um, you know, all the other important things that I have to do. It's pretty hard for me to, to take time out and play games. So, you know, I'll get to them eventually, you know, as they say, the, the fucking community fucking excuse for fucking buying a bunch of shit. I'll get to it eventually. You know, there's the two fucking comments that everybody says. I'll get to it eventually, or it'll look good on the shelf. For display purposes. I'm very intolerant. So, you know, sometimes when I hear shit like that, I, I want to put my foot through the screen. But so I'm saying it now, so it's okay. So it's you, you, you can feel validated that I've said it, so now it's okay that you say it. At least for a week. But yeah, so I finished a couple of games this week. Um, yes, I finished a couple of games this week! In like the course of ten days, I finished two more fucking games. That's what a grubba do. I finish fucking games. Uh... Catkin's been using the, the PS3 for playing Disgaea 4, so she'll be at that for another, what, 500 hours? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe a few years. Yeah, so she'll be... It depends. She'll be playing Disgaea 4 for at least till 2018. So that's, uh... So, but, so every once in a while, you know, when she gets burnt out, uh, I, I take control of the PS3, and I, I finish a couple games really quick and then give it back to her. And, um... I finished Uncharted 2, which, of course, will never focus under any circumstances. But you've all seen this. Like, look at that. That's fucking ridiculous. Focus, you piece of shit. Holy fuck, dude. 
I ask you to do one fucking thing. Yeah, Uncharted 2, uh, and uh, that's an amazing fucking game. These games are fucking great. And the thing about them is, is you know, they're not, they're, they don't fucking innovate. That's, that's the thing. They don't innovate almost at all. The thing about them is that the dialogue is good. It's well acted, well written. The storyline is good. It's it's well constructed. The cover mechanic, the shooting mechanic, the fucking climbing mechanic, it all works. So you're never frustrated with the controls. You're never frustrated with the fucking uh, w what's happening and how you're doing it. It all works. And that's why it... it it's such a good game is because it all fucking pieces together to fucking make a, a good uh, whole product and that's you know one of my fucking pet peeves is is a mechanic that doesn't work and it, you know if you're struggling with the fucking controls or like you know yelling at the fucking game because you can't get into cover what's the point in fucking playing it if you're frustrated you know if you're getting shot in the fucking dome because you can't get into cover mechanic because the fucking thing, you're not standing in exactly the right position, then it's bullshit. But this, these games work. So Uncharted 2, this got sent to me years ago by fucking G-Unit Colima. I'd say link in the description, but that's never going to happen. I never fucking remember. But he sent me this. Awesome fucking game. Brilliant. Thank you, sir. Uh, I still have the third one to play. Plus there's one on the Vita, which I haven't picked up yet because, you know, it's like, as I said before, charity work, you know, I met the hospices and the fucking, uh, you know, the, 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 the old folks homes helping out, giving them their fucking, uh, whatever, bringing in the care monkey or whatever the fucking people do in old folks. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Really good game. Really happy I finished it. Finished it in like, God, I don't know, 10 hours, 11 hours. But, you know, it's basically you walk in a straight line. You shoot people, you pick up a couple things along the way, you get in a fucking cutscene, shoot a couple people. It's basically, like I said, it doesn't reinvent the fucking wheel. But if you haven't played these games, seriously, if you're sitting around playing fucking, you know, nothing, Uncharted 1, 2, and 3, fire them up, dude. Well, I don't know about 3 yet, I haven't done it. I've got it, I'll play it soon. These games are awesome. You won't fucking regret it. And the other game I finished, finished this yesterday, uh, after I got 90% completion on this game, which is fucking unbelievable. I, 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 you know, in games like open world games like this that I'm going to show you, I tend to run around and grab the stupid collectibles and shit like that because, you know, they're there and it's easy fucking peasy lemon squeezy. No, it's easy fucking, uh, shit if you're running past shit. And you can you see the little glowing blue dot, and you gotta go pick it up, or the treasure chest, or whatever the fuck it is. Go get the fucking thing. It gives you a fucking trophy on PS3, which you know I'm not a trophy whore, but it's nice to hear the bedink in the corner. You know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, Infamous 2. And I think I'm gonna sneeze because it's so fucking bright in here. Oh no, it's gone. Infamous 2. Finish this. Really good. And uh, in games like this where they give you the, you know, they, they give you the option to play a good guy or a bad guy, I always play the good guy because, you know, why break the habit of a lifetime? You know, I am, I am a hero to most. Um, and so I always play the good guy. So you can't, I don't think you can get 100% on, on one playthrough um, without uh, playing both thingy. You know what I mean? So, fuck off. Anyway, this is another really good game. Cover mechanic works. The shooting works. The fucking controls work. Everything fucking works. And the story is really good. I enjoyed it anyway. And uh, it was really enjoyable. And uh, this only cost me a couple bucks. And fucking at this point, you know, if you haven't played these games, seriously, you fucking sit down and fucking devote a few hours to fucking playing these open world games. Because... You know, for... It's fun. I don't know. Fuck off. Who gives a shit? It's either fun or it's not. Yeah, you know, If you want to sit there and grind away and... Look, I leveled up my character from level 1 to level 2. By running around a castle for fucking 10 hours. Fucking killing fucking... 
What? I don't know, fucking sheep or whatever. It doesn't matter what it is. But, you know, like, fun game. Really enjoyed it. Happy I fucking played it. Moving on to the next one. And uh, I know what that's going to be, uh, but I won't say anything about it yet because I haven't started it and I'm not going to finish it. Oh, well, I'll probably finish it in one sitting because it's only like a four-hour game, but in your face, home skillet. Um, yeah, so finishing games. That's what I'm doing. Hope you're doing the same. Uh, you know, play, play your collection. That's what it's there for. And, you know... I, I, I don't feel intimidated by your fucking stacks of shit, man. So, here's some stuff that I picked up. Now, you know, you can shut it off now if you're not interested in what I picked up. But each each game contain will we'll, we'll have a, a little anecdote with it. So, you could sit there and go, you know, like, I'm not really interested in these games, Jeremy. But uh, the anecdote... You know, that was really interesting. I was really, I, I was fucking wrapped with attention by that fucking thrilling story you had to go along with the fucking video game that you picked up at a fucking thrift store. This is what it's all about. That's what I want you to say. I, I just want you to be pointing at the screen going, this is what it's all about. This is, this is game collecting at its finest. Citation needed. So I went out with my sister, as I usually do about once a week. Uh, we go thrifting while I'm off work for three months in the winter, which may change in the future, but still. Uh, go out with my sister and uh, go to thrift stores. And last week, or was it the week before? It was the week before. I uh, went out with her and uh, we basically only hit two places. Because after that I was fucking capped. I'd spent 50 bucks. But anyway. I saw these at a store. And <laughs> I saw these at a store. And the thing is. is What I'm doing is. I've got a lot of doubles of fucking games. Especially Nintendo games. And down the states. You know I live in Canada. So everything up here is fucked. Right? Down the States, I, I travel over the border and go shopping once a month or so like that. And uh, I I saw that a lot of these Nintendo games that I have uh, can be traded in at the GameStop down there for stupid fucking prices. And I'm like a platinum member down there, you know. Oh, oh platinum member. You know, of course, you know, they, they saw me coming in. They just gave me that for nothing. But, uh, you know, because, you know, it's, it's celebrity recognition, right? But yeah, um, the, uh, no one? Anyone? Nothing? Um, <laughs> but so, I traded a bunch of fucking, like, uh, Wii Sports Resort. And he, well, here's some of the stuff I traded in. This is all stuff I found at thrift stores for a couple bucks a piece. Now, and the thing is, is they don't want the fucking case. They just want the disc or the cart. So these cocksuckers... They're in there fucking trading, giving me 15 bucks for a disc of fucking Wii Sports or whatever, or 11 bucks for a disc for Wii Sports. You get to keep the fucking case. So, you know, if you ever find a disc only, you can, you know what I mean? You can trade it into those cocksuckers. And I ended up with like 100 bucks fucking uh, uh, store credit. And uh, for, and he, here's, here's some of the shit I traded in. Now, these are all fucking doubles, as you can see. This is just stuff I find at thrift stores. Yeah, good. Whatever. You know what that is. Fuck off. Anyway, and some of these I still haven't traded in because they won't trade doubles in in one day for some reason. So I still have a Wii Sports, a Wii Sports Resort. I've got an Animal Crossing sitting out in the fucking glove compartment in my car waiting to get traded in next time. Plus, so that's what I've been doing because then I can fucking reinvest in games that I'm going to play at American prices. Fuck. Because, for some reason, American prices are way fucking cheaper than up here. Up here, if you went to the fucking EB Games, which is the Canadian GameStop, 
You basically have to fucking give everyone in the store a fucking hand job and sell them a fucking kidney for them to fucking sell you anything. So they can go fucking eat a dick, basically, is what I'm getting at. So whenever I go to out to thrift stores and I see something that I can trade in, like this, like I found this the other day for like five bucks. Now, I can trade it in down the States for like fucking 15. So, store credit. So, yeah, guess what? I'm fucking trading this in when I go down there next time. I mean, you know, because the Canadian dollar's in the fucking tank. So, paying five bucks for this and going down the States and getting 15 US for it, store credit. I mean, basically, I'm printing money. So, I got this. It's gone. It's fucking gone. It's, it's literally, you might as well just fucking, this is just, you know, the disc's in there now. But it ain't going to be in there for fucking long because I'm trading this cocksucker away. It's gone now. It might as well be fucking gone now. And I got this too, and they wouldn't, there's not, they, they won't give you a lot for this, but this is a really good game, and I traded it away a long time ago, and I, I actually like to have this back in my collection in case anybody wants it in the future, and I want to give it to them because I think it's a really good game. Super Paper Mario. Not everybody's favorite, but uh, the story in this is really touching, and uh, I'm not bullshitting you. Really touching story, and uh, you know, you'll shed a tear if you fucking pay attention to the storyline. If you don't, well, then you probably just, you know, I don't know, just sit there motionless with, like, your face is like an oil painting. I don't know. Fuck off. Really good. So it's nice to have that. Paid, like, five bucks for it. I'm going to stick it on the fucking shelf. If someone in the future goes, I never played Super Paper Mario. I'd really like to play that, but I can't find it anywhere. I'll be like, well, guess what? It's your fucking lucky day, because look at this. Oh, I have it, and I'm going to fucking mail it to you at some point in the future, because I'm really shitty doing shit like that. Usually takes me about five years to mail things out, so, you know. I can do th and that impression doesn't cover everybody who's watching, you know. Just 90% of the people who are watching. Hey, everyone. Hi. I'm a person who does things, and I like stuff. Well, it's your lucky day, you fucking cocksucker. So yeah, so those are the two things I got. And so yeah, fuck, if you got shit sitting around, or if you're down in the States, and you um, are a Platinum member, I mean, you know, I'm Platinum no matter what. But I mean, you know, wherever I go, am I right? Anyone? No? Nothing? Um... I'm platinum anywhere I go, but if you guys are platinum members, they give you an extra bonus fucking sh buck trade-in for shit. If you're out at thrift stores and you see, like, fucking Wii Sports Resort, and it's fucking three bucks, pick that fucking thing up. Because those goofballs at fucking GameStop down there, they'll fucking go in and fucking grease you up fucking real good and fucking give you my store credit for it, and you can trade the bitch in. Tell them Grub Gun sent you. <laughs> They'll be, I mean, think of all the bonus things. I think you get a free lanyard if you say that. So, I mean, we can always do with free lanyards. Am I right? How many lanyards does one person need? I use three a day. At least. Yeah. Brandy's using one now. She's got her uh, laser pointer on one. <laughs> <laughs> And on another one, she's got her uh, multi-zone bus pass. These are free ideas. You can use them. Take these stories, and in fact, you can change change the scenario for each of the stories. You can use these stories for your, in your own life. You know what I mean? To to impress others. You know when when you're at the zoo or whatever, I don't know, and you're talking to people. It's like, guess what I did yesterday? And just take any of the stories that I've said and fucking use them for yourself. I don't care. Tell them Grub Gun sent you. <laughs> Fuck off. So here's a bunch of other stuff I got. So yeah, so it traded a bunch of shit in down in the States there. Still have like 80 bucks store credit. Renewed my fucking platinum subscription, you know, just by standing there. It just automatically renewed. I heard, like, the cash register sound go off. ka -ching! And all of a sudden, my card was good for another year. 
and uh, traded it in. Got got a couple games down there. Not I didn't. How much did I pay for these? Fuck all. Because I got this shit at thrift stores for fucking diddly squat and traded it in down the states for fucking the Skrilla, right? And now I'm fucking trading shit in. Uh, Dark Souls 2, which apparently, like, is really tough, and you, you, uh, fucking get your ass kicked all the time, and, you know, uh, everyone needs to, to be humbled every now and again, and, you know, if you want to rage quit a game, why not rage quit a game that's fucking designed to be rage quit? So, you know, I picked that up, you know, I, you know, you know, I'm really good at games, that's the thing, I, I'm a pro. I'm a fucking expert. So, I mean, this should be nothing. I should probably finish this, what, four hours, five hours? You know what I mean? But, you know, other people might take a little longer. It's, it's fine. Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad about it. You know? I mean, you feel guilty, but don't feel bad. So, yeah, I got that. Basically, it didn't cost me a fucking cent. And, uh, Katkin wanted to play this for the longest time. And uh, I think she's just going to steal it off the internet. But I said, hey, don't do that, Brandy, because that's wrong. <laughs> uh, anyway, I got the disc of it. It's Stick of Truth, South Park. She said she wanted to play it. And uh, fucking lo and behold, I picked it up. And it didn't cost me fuck all because, you know, of what I said. And I'm going to go down there end of the month and fucking use a couple of buy two get one free coupons and trade in some more shit and fucking dude it's and reinvest in games i'm gonna play because it's all about the games you're gonna play right am i right here's some other stuff i picked up uh on thrift stuff thing what uh sorry lost my train of thought when i was out with my sister Saw this. Now, this is going to come in handy because, you know, I've had a PlayStation 3 for only a couple of years. I'm kind of a noob at the PS3 shit, right? You know, other people have had it since, you know, the early 70s. And, uh, you know, it's... it's I, I really, you know, I'm, I'm just barely scratching the surface of it. So when I saw this, I was like, holy shit, you mean, like, now I can figure... I can get the entire fucking... the straight dope on the fucking PS3 with the... Welcome to the PS3 and PS3 Network fucking Blu-ray disc. Ugh. That thing's still sealed. I mean, how the hell did this go unnoticed at the thrift store? And, uh, but there we go. I mean, I'm going to be watching this uh, probably tonight. Uh, you know, I don't know how long it is. It doesn't say. But, you know, it's got all the fucking top stars in Hollywood in it, I think. And, uh, you know, this big-name director directed this movie. So, I'm going to be watching this, and then I'll know everything about the PS3. And then I won't be sitting there, you know, trying to put... Like, the, yesterday, I didn't know it was... I still don't know a lot about my PS3. I tried to put a sandwich in it. I don't know, you know, maybe you can put a fucking sandwich in it. I, You know? Tried to stick a fucking processed cheese slice in the fucking slot there. Didn't work. But I tried to because I don't know. But now I'll know because this. Here's another game I got at the same thrift store. And I played this game. Mentioned it before. Bioshock. I played it. Uh, my Xbox 360 copy has no manual. So I grabbed the PS... Three copy, and look at this. Check this out. I mean, you can all be jealous, and, you know, beware. If you've got, like, a tray or a, a plate sitting on your lap, uh, for you dudes, be careful. Because immediate boner. And it's gonna pop up, like, it'll be like a fucking jack-in-the-box. Whatever it is, you got your fucking... Who knows what's sitting there. You know, your popcorn or your fucking... You know, your plate of fucking, you know spaghetti or whatever it's gonna end up on the floor look at this cardboard sleeve you know what i'm saying cardboard sleeve <laughs> fucking hell that so i'll let you uh you know you can pause the video now and you know service that four hour boner that i've just given you because cardboard sleeve but yeah that's that's kind of an upgrade to my uh xbox 360 version 
And you see, the thing is, is, you know, I don't need this in my collection. If someone hasn't played it in five years, hey, I have a, you know what I mean? Like, I, fucking, there you go, buddy. I fucking, I'll hand this to you. And I got this, also out with my sister. I uh, wanted to play this. I found it a uh, couple bucks. Uh, apparently, it's kind of neat. Uh, heavy rain. You know, it's another one of those games where a bunch of stuff happens, but it's not really a game. So, you know what I mean? There you go. A lot of, a lot of uh, hitting buttons and shit like that. Heavy rain, everyone. That was a couple bucks. Fuck it. And then, look at that. You can I think you can play it with the PlayStation Move. Oh, no, you can't. It doesn't matter. Probably play that uh, in the next five games that I play. It's on the list. So, there we go. Heavy rain. I was going to say something else. I can't remember what it was. It doesn't matter. Bullshit, anyway. Picked this up as well. Uh, this I got... Oh, God. It must have been over a month ago. Maybe a couple months ago. I was buying, um, I bought Assassin's Creed Rogue from a dude, uh, on, off Craigslist for cheap, and I was like, okay, fuck it, I'm gonna buy that game, and, uh, he had another game there that he, uh, kind of chucked in for cheap, uh, and it's another one in the Assassin's Creed game series that I don't have, and it's for a console I don't have yet, but it's Unity on the X-Bone. So there's another Xbox fucking One game that I'll be able to play when I actually get the console. I've got like 10 games sitting over there. And now I've got like a whole... So I got like... I got a bunch of games to play when I get the console. Because that's the burn job, as I've said. You buy a console, you gotta buy games for it. I don't have to. I'm gonna be working on the PS4 games next. I'm gonna pick up a few choice titles. Infamous Second Son. Fucking... I don't know, whatever. There's a bunch of other fucking games. I, I've got a list. But yeah, look at that. Goes over here next to the other fucking games. So that's quality shit, right? You know, like I'm, I'm always thinking. Nobody can, it can't be said that I'm not always thinking. You can hear the gears just fucking spinning in there. It keeps catking up at night. She's like, I don't know, dude. What's going on in there? But you got the old gears just fucking spinning all the time. You're always thinking. And, you know, that's that's just comes with the territory. You know what I mean? You know, when you when you got this brain, that's what happens. So, here's some more stuff. I think I might skip the other stack here because... Ah, oh, fuck. Who knows? Here's a peripheral. I lean out of camera frame. Uh, here's a peripheral that I got also out with my sister. Uh... This is one of my favorite PS3 peripherals, just because it's so cool looking. And uh, I've got the controllers for it and everything, but it's a gun fucking peripheral thing, and it's this thing. I don't know what the fuck it is. Does it even have a name on it? But it's for the, you know, the move controller, but I dig that. I think it was like five bucks. I mean, that's really cool. And you stick the old fake Wii won't nunchuck in there. But yeah, that's pretty cool. For five bucks, fuck it. You know what I mean? It's all there. I, I think it had a scope, but I mean, what do you need a fucking scope for? You're shooting the fucking thing from your hips sitting on the couch. You know, it's not like you've got to dive around and whatever. But yeah, that's pretty neat. You know, it'll... It'll look good on the shelf, as they say. Was I... Oh yeah, I'm still talking. Um, here's some other stuff. This is pretty cool. I mean, it's not that great, but it's kind of cool. Uh, out with my sister last week, uh, week before, whatever it was, don't remember. And grabbed this, and it was seven bucks. And, uh, it's all there. It's complete in the box. It's never been used. The fucking thing's brand new. And granted, it's kind of like a niche product, and it's, you know, probably kind of lame. But when you find something like this, fucking brand new, basically, at a thrift store for fucking squat, diddly, squish in fucking uh, money, you pick it up. Because, you know, still a collector, but a gamer first. It's the old DJ Hero 2. Look at that. It's all... It's I'm not opening it, but it's all there. It's got the game inside and fucking... 
nary a thumbprint to be seen on the fucking disc, so it's never been used. But yeah, for like seven bucks, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? That's coming home with me. And, you know, I don't know how good it is or whatever. I will try it out because, you know, fuck. I want to see what all the fuss is about. You know? it's always a lot of fuss. I want to see what it's about. And uh, here's another thing. I got the same thrift store for ten bucks. Now, this is a much maligned uh, product. You know, it's like, I don't want this hooked up to my fucking game console because it's lame well as lame as it is I got it for 10 bucks um, I'm still gonna try it out because there is one game I want to try out for it and I think it's probably worth it to, to try to buy this just to try out one game and for 10 bucks still in the box with everything in it is a connect you know Fuck it. I'm buying it because it's, like I said, it's all in there. Can I show that? It's all in there. It's the fucking thing's never been used. It didn't have a fucking thumbprint on it. I think it got taken out and then the guy was like, fucking bail. I'm not hooking this stupid thing up to my 360. And then eventually, you know, he either died or is, you know, his girlfriend kicked him out of the house and... He left this in the closet, so she gave it to the thrift store. Doesn't matter. I don't give a shit what happened to the fucking guy, to be honest. You know, he fucking got, could have fucking got run over by a fucking car, as far as I'm concerned. It doesn't make any fucking difference, because I got his fucking connect. So, for ten bucks, fuck that shit. You know what I mean? I'm buying it, you know? Guy's dead, or he's sitting there crying in a fucking flea bag hotel now because his fucking girlfriend kicked him out because he fucking sits there all day eating fucking craft dinner or whatever fucking talking on the fucking phone to his fucking stupid friends about fucking getting drunk and shit like that serves him right fuck you i got your fucking connect you piece of shit laugh it up now you fucking bastard the fucking get eaten alive by bed bugs in your own fucking hotel you cocksucker because i got your fucking connect i probably have your fucking dj hero too fuck you it's mine now. It's not fucking yours. You're probably like, oh, I wish I was playing DJ Hero now. I shouldn't have been fucking sitting there eating craft dinner all fucking day. Uh, you know, fucking hanging out with my fucking buddies. I should have been fucking, you know, being Mr. Nice Guy, you know. Now he's sitting there watching the video. Uh, on his like, four by three black and white screen. Oh, that's my connect. Oh, my life's ruined. That's right. It's fucking ruined, buddy, because I own it. Ten bucks, buddy. You should have fucking thought before you, you, you acted. That's a life lesson for all of you. I mean, he probably... This is the thing. He probably wasn't even eating the craft dinner. He was probably eating the fucking Velveeta shells and cheese. You know what I mean? Where it's like the top dollar. Spend the dollar sixty nine on the fucking thing, box of shit. Eating it right out of the pot. Sitting on the couch. <sighs> His girlfriend's like, "Listen, you piece of shit. Fuck, get out. I'm kicking you out. And I'm gonna take your fucking connect and your DJ Hero to the fucking thrift store. Maybe some dope fucking dude will buy them and show them in a video." And, you know, that'll teach you a lesson. Go to your flea bag hotel and get eaten by fucking bed bugs, you sack of trash. Yeah, well, guess what, sack of trash? DJ Hero 2, bitch. Fuck you. Serves you right, man. Grow a pair. <laughs> It's funny because it's true. What are we at? 35 minutes? Holy shit. Think I can fit this other shit in? Yeah, probably. <sighs> Move on to the old 360. Pick this stuff up. This All this shit was dirt cheap. Three bucks probably each. And uh, I'm enjoying the old 360, you know? Ever since I uh, got the thing running again, uh, I've really enjoyed it. Picked up this, just a couple bucks, what the fuck, saw it, figured, hey, 
sometime in the future I might try it out. Played the first one. Now I can play the second one. It's Far Cry 2. I hope I get malaria. Because that's the fun part of it. Get some malaria. Oh, Because in, in my personal life, I enjoy contracting, you know, tropical diseases. It's kind of like a hobby. You know? I want to catch that Zika or whatever it is virus, man. So my head shrinks. Because that'd be good. Because I got a big fucking dome. And buying a fucking hat for this is almost impossible. So, you know, get that Zika virus. My head shrinks to... Goes to a pinhead. And then I can fucking... I could wear anything. You know, I could buy a hat at, like, a kid's store and wear it. But yeah. Far Cry 2. What the fuck? Three bucks. Fucking who cares, right? Uh, got this. Now, this I got... It was funny. And this is a real funny story. You can use this. You know? As you're sitting there, you know, after your girlfriend kicks you out for eating your fucking Velveeta shells and cheese deluxe with fucking bacon flavor. You know, and you're sitting there in your fucking flea bag hotel or whatever. Cockroaches fucking crawling out of your fucking ears and shit like that when you wake up in the morning. You, you can use this story to, to all the hobos that sleep with you in the place. But, uh... I wanted an upgrade to my Bioshock because it had no fucking manual in it. And I know, you know, that's kind of like, uh, it's so superficial. Like, to the point where, I mean, it's just, if you look up superficial in the fucking dictionary, it's upgrading my disc because it didn't have a manual in it. That's basically what it comes to. But, uh, so I found this at the thrift store, and it is definitely an upgrade. It's Bioshock and Oblivion, two-for-one uh, collection, and this was like three bucks, so fuck it. And it's got the fucking manual in it, so whatever. So this is another game that I can just basically trade away because I don't fucking care. I've got like three copies of this bitch now and I don't fucking care anymore. Uh, Alan Wake picked that up. Oh God, a while ago. Fucking months ago. Finished it. This is an amazing game. I loved it. The way that it's... It's just so great. The episodic uh, way that this is uh, presented to you is fucking... It's it's brilliant. If you haven't played this, fucking spend eight or ten hours and fucking get through this bitch, because it's a lot of fun. I don't know what the fuck's going on in it. Gone pretty stupid, and so the storyline's kind of what do you call it? Obtuse for when you got like when you're always, when your brain's always working on other things. You know what I mean? Like I'm working on fucking particle physics and shit. I can't have, I don't have time to fucking work on what the fuck Alan Wake is about. You know what I mean? But it's really good. Again, the mechanic works. Everything works. It's it's it, it's kind of creepy. A lot of fun. Enjoyed it. Fucking brilliant. Do do yourself a favor and play that thing if you haven't. Pick this up. I don't know anything about it. Well, I do. It's there's shit. It's psychedelic and you know. It's kind of weird and shit. But it's beautiful Katamari. Picked that up for a couple bucks. Look, the box is broken. I feel stupid now. Uh, beautiful Katamari, you roll shit around and pick shit up, and there's a, a funny looking dude and some broad, and they fucking yak to you in fucking some strange language or whatever. It doesn't matter. You all know what it is. I don't need to explain it to you because it's pointless. But yeah, there we go. Look at that. Ho ho. Looks, uh, you know, I'm uh, fucking 360 games. I wasn't picking up 360 games for the longest time because I was like, fuck the 360, I got a PS3. 360's played. It's played out, man. It's day is past, man. It's living in the past. And then uh, I realized I was just tripping. So, fuck it. Grabbed this a little while ago. XCOM Enemy Unknown. It's not supposed to be the best fucking tactical shooting... Is it? It's not supposed to be the best in the world, but, you know, hey, it's worth a try. I'm shit at fucking tactical fucking games like that, but Katkin over there, you know, if it's got squares and a grid and you move your people around to squares and a grid, she's all over that, dude. She's like, can't get enough of that shit, man. She wanted me to put, put a grid on the fucking ground here so, you know, she could... You know, it's easier to move around the house for. But yeah, I don't know, a fucking couple bucks. Fuck off. You know what I mean? Jesus Christ. 
And last one, grab this. This was a couple bucks as well. And this, I'm actually looking forward to playing this. It's uh, it's kind of a neat looking game, and uh, it's you know it's, it's it's right up my fucking alley, as they say. And uh, and not in a pervy way. Get your fucking head out of the gutter for fuck's sakes, dude. Jesus. But yeah, it's right up my uh, back alley. Uh, and, uh, you know, it goes right up my back alley, this game. You know what I'm saying? No? Anyone? Um, Shadow of Mordor. Grabbed that at a thrift store. Thought it was like, holy shit, how do I find that at a fucking thrift store? And uh, that's you find that at a thrift store by going to a fucking thrift store. So yeah, there we go, Shadow of Mortar. It looks pretty good. It's all there. It's boxed and complete. I think it even has the uh, playable skin code in it that's unused. So who doesn't like a playable skin? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Perv. Fucking sickos. Always thinking about things that happen in your trousers. But yeah, Shadow of Mortar. Fuck it. You know what I mean? So there's 40 minutes. We're over 40 minutes now, so I mean, you know, I hope, you know, you can play it at, I, I don't mind you playing the video at 1.25 speed, because I wish I could live my life at 1.25 speed, but I can't. I have to live with this at regular speed, so you don't have to. So feel free to speed that up uh, at your, or, or not, slow it down if you want. If you want to spend m fucking more time listening to me. And make it sound like I'm fucking, you know, chasing the dragon or whatever. Fine. Do what you want. I don't give a shit. It doesn't fucking make any difference to me. You're probably not watching anyway at this point. I would have stopped watching right around the time when I showed this. Because I knew it was going downhill right there. So, you know, have fun with that. So, yeah, next video is going to be another awesome community question for all you people to uh, participate in. And, uh, you know, uh, but of course, filming this and putting this up, I've probably, you know, there'll be about 30, 40 unsubs. So, you know, you got to take the good with the bad, right? But I'll get them all back in that community question. That's the thing. You know, out with the old, in with the new, you know? Or just whatever. It doesn't matter. Fuck off. Give us a shit. And here's the bonus item. Now, I wasn't going to show this because I know you've already had your, your fucking plate of spaghetti pop onto the floor when I showed you the cardboard sleeve. And you're probably still suffering your four-hour boner. This may actually, you may actually prolapse when I show this to you. Because, so don't, you know, don't blame me. Call, not, dial 9 on your phone now. Because, um... You're going to need to hit one and get the ambulance to your house when you prolapse. But I got this at a thrift store. Now, I've been trying to pawn this off on people. People won't take it because they're like, I can't have something that awesome in my house. And uh, so I'm going to show it to you now and we'll just leave it at that. It's the uh, ceramic wall plaque of mushrooms. never gonna get rid of it never it's too valuable no one will take it the responsibility is just too much huh? yeah the re exactly no one wants the responsibility i mean people would rather like i don't I, know i just look at that and get depressed well because you know that like it's we're not even worthy oh shit so here we go i'll leave you with this this is grub gun i'm signing out look at that Oh, that's lovely. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. Ooh.